Chris on the water. Yeah. This is the face. <laughs> yeah. This is how. Have a look at. Oh, it's it's just Chris so looking strange. healthy. Oh, look at my hands. Look at that. It's just like that one's all right. Look at that one. It's twice as big. This is how I make our morning water. So actually, you can see it already. It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you anyway. And this is what the amount of sand and sediment. Look at that. That is what would have been in the bottom. And that is what we were drinking. Look at that. Beautiful. Look massive, didn't it? Quite a big tree in the middle instead of a small tree. Yeah, it's just a small tree. Saturday, 9th of July, mileage. Oh, what time are we first? We are 12:40. Um, mileage is 787, and we're well and truly in the flats. And it's horrible. It's just. It's making us go to sleep all the time. There's just nothing here. We, have, we can't cut corners because of the trees that stick out. I don't know if you can see them or not. And it's just literally relentless paddling for hours and hours and hours. Once we've navigated um, some dodgy corners, because there's been loads of floods, obviously. Yeah, you can tell by the erosion on the side, it's been up about two metres, probably, nearly, um, from where we are now. So all the trees get washed down and uh, they all get caught up, you can't really see, but over there <laughs> is the edge of the bank of all the trees. If we go there, we'll get grounded out and get stuck. We have to try and guess where the depth of water is, so it's a bit of a nightmare and just another challenge on top of all the other challenges. Saturday, 9th of July, 6.23 p.m. 825 miles. And I can see Beaver. Not a Beaver, Beaver the town. Over there. You can have this as your background music to the video. I know. It's great music, isn't it? Per perfect timing. Row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oi! Row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, <laughs> if we see a crocodile, we've gone too far. <laughs> I would like to see a bear. Wow. Yeah. Saturday, 9th of July. 10:42 p.m. We are doing really well. Up to mileage 850 miles. That's what we did. Um, 850 miles, and um, we're setting up tent now. Let me show you. We found this little spot in the middle of nowhere, really chuffed. A bit muddy stuff. Not sinking. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, look at that. It's the only bit of beach we could find for miles. Anyway, so doing well, being bitten by mosquitoes again, and uh, hopefully tomorrow will be our last day and I can go home. Woohoo! So we think we're on our final day, uh, the eighth day, and everything's going reasonably, although the weather comes and goes with rain and then sunshine. and. Uh, it's a problem because you put on your jacket for the rain and then get baked when the rain stops and the sun comes. Um, we've got about, I can't remember, how much have we got to go, Chris? Um, I think it is uh, 20, 50, 
miles. So uh, about 55 miles to go, uh, which should be uh, 10 hours at most and could be less, depending on the flows. Uh, everything, as I say, was fine, although it does look as though we're going to run out of MP3 music, um, and so we may have to call International Rescue. Hello, Sunday the 10th of July, 931 miles on there. That is the Dalton Highway Bridge in the background, or oh, sorry, in the background, in front of us. And it's uh, nearly seven o'clock and we're about to enter the final bit and get there. So we're quite happy after a long and tiring trip. And uh, yeah, not much to say. Have you got anything to say, Mike? No, I'm pleased to be here. I'm thankful for you, Chris, for sorting it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, we've had a lovely time, really. We just want to uh, have a sleep now. <laughs> Bye. And here we are, the end.